Hello and welcome to another episode of the Confident Musician Show. My name is Brett Cusack, musician, mindset, mentor, and at The Confident Musician, we help musicians to overcome self-doubt and overwhelm and make music and make a difference. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to be more authentic as an artist. And uh, this comes from one of our uh, clients, Sarah, who was having a bit of a challenge with starting to create her own identity as a an artist and a singer-songwriter. Um, so we're very grateful for her for um, sharing this question. So what we're going to do today, we're going to create a bit of a framework, some ideas or tips for you to test out there in the real world and make sure that they work for you because you are your best coach and mentor, mentor at the end of the day. Um, so we're gonna got, we've got five steps here today and let's get into it. All right, so step one for how to be more authentic as an artist is to find out who you are and do it on purpose. There's a really amazing quote that I loved um, and I heard about many, many years ago by Dolly Parton. Um, and what I love about this is that life uh, is a constant and never ending uh, process and journey. And so with discovering your own authenticity, it doesn't come from, you know, this idea you have in your head one day. Um, it's a process of um, actually testing things out in the real world and um, experimenting, exploring and, and seeing what works and what doesn't work. And it's a never ending process. Um, so I really love that quote by Dolly Parton because it makes so much sense to me. Um, even at this stage of my career, I'm still trying to figure things out at the 38 years young. Um, but it's a really beautiful thing to remind people that whatever, wherever you are, um, it's just to keep working it and keep chipping it, keep testing things um, that you want to try and you want to get to the end of your life and say, hey, I did everything that I could with everything that I was given and um, I in employ you to have a crack, whatever it is. Step one, find out who you are and do it on purpose, Dolly Parton. All right, step two, it follows on from step one, but it's to test things in the real world. Um, so many of us, myself included, um, have a great idea in their head and then test it in your head. And they're like, yep, it's really, really good. It's really, really good. And we might test it in our head for months and months and months or years and years and years without actually putting it out there in the real world to actually test whether there's an audience for it, whether there's a market for it, whether people are interested in it, whether people are not interested in it. And the more things that we test in the real world and get real feedback from real human beings, the quicker we're going to learn what works and what doesn't work. And that's at the end of the day, that's the, that's what being a human being is all about, is finding something that you love and helping other people um, to either enjoy life or to do it as well or whatever it might be. Um, so you got to get out there and try new things and see what works. Um, so get out there, have a go. What's the worst thing that could happen? Um, sometimes that might be good to look at. Sometimes it might be just like, let's just give it a go. And what I do, like as a musician mindset coach, this doesn't exist. And in essence, everything that you're trying to do out there doesn't exist either. Um, so we have to get out there and we've got to trust that, you know, we're going to learn something in the process and give ourselves permission to fail and a bit of childlike uh, enthusiasm and, and curiosity. Um, I've been watching a lot of uh, Peter Crone, check him out. Um, the mind architect lately, and he says, how can you bring a bit more childlike curiosity back into your world and just have that ability to get out there and test things and fail? And, you know, that's what's going to happen anyway. We're going to fail at not doing it, or we're going to fail at doing it, and then we're going to learn some things along the way. So step two, test things in the real world. Step three um, is a Japanese reason for being is called an ikigai. I call it an ikai guy, but um, if you're Japanese, you'd probably be like ikigai. <laughs> I had one of my clients correct me on that, so... You tell me, is it in, in the comments, is it ikigai or ikai guy? Um, and so what we're going to do here is the four questions as part of an ikai guy um, or ikigai is, uh, helps us really understand our, our life's purpose or our meaning. So the four questions are, um, what does the world need? What can I get paid for? What do I love? And what am I good at? So if you answer those questions five to 10 times or 20 times, um, you'll start to come up with some answers that start to cross over. So I am pretty good at music. Um, I love music. Um, can I get paid for it? I don't know yet, um, but I can get paid for coaching. So I can help people with their music. I can help people with learning their instruments, with writing songs. 
Um, and the world needs that. The world needs people that are um, actually out there, you know, changing the way people think about their lives and helping them be more certain, present and grateful for who they are and not trying to, you know, live out these fantasies that, you know, may or may not come true. But at the end of the day, we only have what we have now and to be present with what we have in our lives and actually getting grateful for the way life is as opposed to the way we wished it was. It's incredibly challenging to try and live out in a fantasy of only wanting the world to be one way. Um, that we we just went we just went deep, um, but yeah, four to five, um, sorry, five to ten answers each for what does the world need in relation to you, um, what can you get paid for, um, and you know if you've never been paid for before, just you know be curious. Um, what do I love? What am I good at? And what activities are in? And yeah, I'm sorry, what am I good at? And so what we want to do there is start to experiment and explore what are the things that appear in most of those boxes, and maybe there would be a good place to start. Um, to start to figuring out how to create your authenticity is by doing these things that are going to you know, help you enjoy life. You're going to love doing them. You're going to love learning and growing in them. You can actually get paid for it um, and that you, and you're actually good at it. Did I miss one in there? And what does the world actually need? Because money's only going to come in from there being a need out there in the world. Um, step four is to make sure whatever you're doing is actually true for you. Um, so if you're out there in the world uh, experimenting and exploring and you're trying to fulfill somebody else's thing, um, I know for me, I went and studied education, but no one, I never grew up wanting to be an educator. Um, but that was probably a value of maybe my music teachers and my parents to be able to actually have a job out there in the world and actually be able to make a career because I just wanted to make and create original music. The beauty is in that process, I've discovered that I really loved um, educating, educating people. I loved learning how people learn. I loved learning how I learned. Um, so that was a, an injected, what we'd call an injected value, but I also then discovered some amazing things and learned how to understand myself. So um, now I'm trying to get back into music, but I'm also trying to do it through creating education for other people and help them back along their journey. So, you know, that's kind of cool. Um, but at the end of the day, is it true for you? Are you in a job or are you creating things in the world that's actually meaningful and inspiring to you? And at the end of the day, doing you doesn't exist yet. Um, so creating your own unique you know, space in the world is terrifying because what happens if it fails? Um, but at the end of the day, you want to test that and see whether it might work. Um, the Confident Musician has been an incredibly crazy um, experiment for me to try and figure out whether there's a niche for me as a mindset coach for musicians. And I've been helping some people along their journey, which is really cool. But this is true for me. I'm an educator. I love helping people understand themselves. I love inspiring people. I love helping people make music. And I love creating an income so I can actually also focus on my music and creating a lifestyle around the things that I love. So step four, make sure whatever is true, whatever you're doing, what, make sure that it's true for you. Step five is to get a mentor or a coach, someone that has experience with helping people along their journey, um, that has done whatever it is that you're trying to do. Um, or, you know, a coach doesn't necessarily always have to be further along their journey than you, but they do need to have some skills that you're trying to learn. So for me, that might be mindset coaching, um, mindset mental health toolkit, might be learning how to relate to people better and develop your um, intimate relationships or you know, band relationships. Um, so people don't necessarily need to be f as far along their journey as you, but they need to have a specific skill set to be able to stay a uh, hold space for you as you learn and grow. But I guess at the end of the day, if you want to learn how to release 33 songs, I've got some skills uh, in that space. So um, if you wanted to learn how to make money out of original music, that would be somewhere else I would send you. But I do know how to release and finish music and get it up online. Alrighty, so step five is to get a coach or mentor. Um, and at the end of the day, a coach and a mentor is a, a person that is gonna help you overcome self-doubt, hold your hand uh, along their journey and help you discover the problems behind the problems um, so that you can actually get to doing the thing that you actually do. Because at the end of the day, we know that um, creating confidence in yourself is going to come from doing something consistently over an extended period of time and tackling some inspiring challenges out there. So that's why I've created my latest course, which is called Confidence and Happiness Secrets for Musicians. Um, you can get it on the link below. It's seven bucks. Um, and it's seven bucks because I want to be able to give it to as many people as I can uh, and share the amazing information that I do have and the frameworks for actually 
you know, creating a really inspiring life um, doing what it is that you love. Um, all right, so just to recap, we got step one is to find out uh, who you are and do it on purpose. Thank you, Dolly Parton. Step two is to test things in the real world. You've got to get out there and you've got to bump up against some human beings who like and don't like your stuff so you can refine what it is that you're doing and testing it out there um, so that you can actually then you know, do more of it. Um, step three is to do the Ikai guy or Ikki guys, answer the four questions at least five to 10 times each or 20 times or 100 times, whatever it is to get you to the result that you're looking for. Um, what does the world need? What can I get paid for? What do I love and what am I good at? And then discover what is in, um, what is the answers that are most in most of those areas. Step four is to make sure whatever you do is true for you. Keep testing and challenging. Hey Jason, how are you going? Um, keep testing things out there in the real world and making sure that you're always going, is this what I love? And continuously do that Ikai guy. So you're always correcting the ship. Uh, because if you're doing a job that is not inspiring to you and you're just going through the motions, life is never going to improve. So we've got to make sure that whatever you're doing, you're spending time working on stuff that really inspires you. Um, so thanks so much. Oh, hang on. What have we got? Um, and step five is to get a coach or a mentor to be able to help you along that journey. Um, my name is Brett Cusack, musician, mindset mentor. Uh, I help musicians overcome self-doubt and develop confidence in themselves, more confidence than they've ever thought possible. So if you are curious about what it is that I do, you can either grab the um, course that I've got below, which starts to develop the framework of what it is that I do, um, or you can also reach out to me at any point and or stick a comment under this, whether you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram or whatever it might be. Um, have a great day, uh, and I will see you on the next one. Make music, make a difference.